Hi, I'm Jade Hubner, and you're watching Joburg Today. Burning calories and increasing your fitness levels doesn't always have to be a gym-centric activity. And if you don't believe me, just ask the guys from Evolution Dance. My name is Warren Gea. Um, I'm the owner of Evolution Dance and also the, the senior instructor and dance director. I've been, I've been in the industry for going on 16 years now. Started dancing just out of high school. Took a gap year. Was supposed to go and study, you know what we're all supposed to do. Took a gap year, started dancing and just yeah, it took over. When you're an older dancer or more mature dancer, uh, it's something that uh, is fun, and it, but it also keeps you um, fit. Uh, it helps you to develop your core strength, your posture is better, and you just look better. But apart from that, there's also a huge aesthetic side to it. It's beautiful. It's a sport, it's a cultural activity, it's a science, it's an art. Um, people do it for fitness, so it, it encompasses everything. I mean, if you look at the international trainers, and once we, you know, like as professionals and stuff, we're dancing, training, eight, ten hours a day sometimes. So that's the sport element of it. If you're looking to get into it for fitness, um, a lot of your, your, most of your dances are high intensity, good cardio workout, so fitness activity definitely, and then of course the artistic side, where you get to express yourself, dance to the music, um, and really feel, you know, feel something different on the floor. I think Warren is an exceptional teacher, not only around his skill, because he's got huge skill, he's a great dancer in himself as well. But what he does is he is intuitive around his students. So he very quickly assess uh, how, do, how do I like to learn? Um, how do I like to learn a new step? and how many times can I get it wrong <laughs> before I get bored with it. So he wouldn't like, you know, he won't let you off the hook. You say, no, no, it's enough now, you know. He said, well, let's try it one more time until you get it right. You're always in competition with yourself and there's always more that you can learn. And I like that aspect of dancing, that you never sort of get to a point where you go, right, I can dance, I'm done now. Even the, the top professionals, you're constantly learning. There's always more to do. There's always you can always improve on your techniques. You can always learn new steps. You, so it's it's something that you can constantly grow with and constantly evolve with. And I think that's what's addictive about it because once you start and everyone starts and they're all shy and stiff and boxy and and then you get your first step right and and you you know you you wear your first costume or, or you see the improvement when you, you and that's what makes it addictive you start seeing your growth and you sort of go oh I really like this feeling I want more of that please and that's what that's sort of what keeps it going and that never stops and I think that's what's great about dancing the biggest limitations we have found is people are scared scared nervous self-conscious um, you know that type of thing and that's that's actually what dance is, is here for People are looking for something new to do. It's becoming, it's becoming a big thing, especially with couples. I've noticed a lot more couples and gents coming in, where previously it was always more single ladies. Um, the guys are, are realising that the, the girls like the guys that can dance. <laughs> 